Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of RTHD. In this episode, I'm going to show you quickly how to create a scrolling text ticker in Streamlabs OBS. I would have previously done another video where I did this in OBS Studio and it's pretty much the same logic. So what we have here is OBS Studio, um, sorry, Streamlabs OBS. And we have a default scene that is already created. And what we want to do is we want to, of course, add some text. So the first thing that we need to do is go to the plus button where we add a new source. And here we look for text GDI plus. We select that and we add the source. We can always enter the name and I'm just going to keep it as text GDI because it's just for demonstration purposes. And here we want to add some text. So in the previous video, I think I said something like, please like and subscribe if this video is useful and don't forget to comment in if you have any questions lovely now i'm not going to go through formatting etc of the text all i'm just going to do is to show you guys how to create the uh scrolling text sticker that uh is used by many uh, especially if, if many Twitch streams, etc. Many people use this, all right? So it depends on your creativity. All right, so we have created a text. The text is here. What we want to do, of course, is left click, hold it, drag it down to the bottom, and there we have some text. Voila. Okay, amazing. No, not really. All right, so the amazing part is how we get the scrolling, how we enable scrolling. So I want you now to right click on the text um, option that we have here. Where did it go? How am I stuck? I'm stuck. Oh yes, right click. And there we have, we right click and we get to filters. So we're gonna go into filters, which you would never think that scrolling would be under filters because you think filters might be colors or something overlaid, but it's not, all right? So we're gonna click on filters. And as you can see, it says no filters are applied. We click on add. And here we choose the filter type and you will see that there's a filter type called scroll. And you just click on that and I'm going to explain the same thing I explained before, which is the horizontal speed and the vertical speed. So basically, if you if you want the horizontal speed controls from left to right or right to left. So if you adjust the horizontal speed, it's going to either move more basically left or right. OK, so that's what horizontal speed does. Now, vertical speed will adjust it to move up or down. So as you can see, it's going to move up or down, right? And that's pretty much so you could do all kind of different effects and so forth i don't hardly ever see people using the up and down so much as the left or right so we're going to just keep this as like that it's a little too fast and we leave it to loop which is by default and then we click done and once we do that presto we already have our our specific um uh scrolling and that's pretty much what you'd want to do. So just to make the effect even better, I'm going to show you by adding in um, this video, a video capture device, just so that you see how it actually works. And um, yeah, so what we have here, and the net effect is that if you have the video capture device over it, you're going to have to drag this, drag the text above it so that it can be seen. Now, another thing that happens is that obviously when you do something like this, what you see happens is the text here is sometimes hard to see. And what a lot of people do is they add a color source or, you know, it could even add an image, but the color source is going to be easy. You add a color source and you adjust the height and the width. So I know that the, the width was, I believe, something like 1300 or something like that. All right. So the height, I'm going to just set a height of maybe 40. And now we have what we have here is now now we have the color source. We can drag the color source, which seems to be covering the text. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. And now after that, we know um, the color source is probably a bad color. Let's choose like black. Let's go, well red. Let's go with red. That's fine. All right. It's just as an example. And you make sure the text. You drag the text layer above everything else. And what that will do is it will create a nice little ticker with a background of the color. And of course, this is not perfect. You can adjust it accordingly, change the fonts, etc., change the colors, etc. You know, make it something more presentable. I don't know why I chose red. I would have preferred something like maybe green or blue. 
or something like that. So you get the point, all right? So with that being said, uh, if this helped you out, make sure to like and make sure to subscribe and comment in if you have any other questions. And I'd be really happy to, of course, answer those questions for you. With that being said, thanks again for viewing. See you guys again soon on another episode of RTHG coming to a YouTube screen near you. Take care. Bye-bye.